January 6 committee considers criminal referrals for at least for others besides Trump. The House Select Committee investigating the January 6, 2021, insurrection is considering criminal referrals for at least for individuals in addition to former President Donald Trump, multiple sources told CNN. The panel is weighing criminal referrals for former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows, right-wing lawyer John Eastman, former Justice Department official Jeffrey Clark and Trump's former lawyer Rudy Giuliani, the sources said. The committee has not officially decided whom to refer to the Justice Department for prosecution and for what offenses, sources said. The four individuals who are among those under consideration, and whose names have not been previously reported, provide a window into the panel's deliberations. Another source cautioned that while names are being considered, there is still discussion before names are finalized. While the criminal referrals would largely be symbolic in nature, as the DOJ has already undertaken a sprawling investigation into the U.S. Capitol attack and efforts to overturn the 2020 election, committee members have stressed that the move serves as a way to document their views for the record. A spokesperson for the January 6 committee declined to comment. Committee Chairman Rep. Benny Thompson, a Mississippi Democrat, said Thursday that committee members are expected to reach a decision on criminal referrals when members meet virtually on Sunday. Thompson told reporters on Thursday how members evolved towards the idea of issuing criminal referrals as the panel's investigation went on. I think the more we looked at the body of evidence that we had collected, we just felt that while we're not in the business of investigating people for criminal activities, we just couldn't overlook some of them. Democratic Rep. Jamie Raskin of Maryland, who leads the January 6 subcommittee tasked with presenting recommendations on criminal referrals to the full committee, said Thursday, I think anyone who engages in criminal actions needs to be held accountable for them. And we are going to spell that out. The gravest offense in constitutional terms is the attempt to overthrow a presidential election and bypass the constitutional order, Raskin told reporters. Subsidiary to all of that are a whole host of statutory offenses, which support the gravity and magnitude of that violent assault on America. Raskin, along with Democratic representatives Adam Schiff and Zoe Lofgren, both of California, and the panel's vice chair GOP representative Liz Cheney of Wyoming, comprise the subcommittee. Schiff told CNN there is a, a consensus among the members regarding referrals and that members are taking a unified approach on that front. Thompson told reporters earlier this week, we will make referrals. As to how many, we've not decided that yet. CNN previously reported that the committee is weighing Trump and a number of his closest allies for criminal referrals. Thompson said the panel is aiming to release its final report and vote publicly on criminal referrals on December 21. There will be some form of public presentation. We haven't decided exactly what that would be, Thompson said.